What's up everyone, Sean Azari here, your digital marketing expert and entrepreneur. And today, we're gonna talk about at least three types of videos that you can use to sell your product or service. So let's get into it. There are plenty of videos that you can create for your brand, but in particular, what works the best for online marketing. What I've seen have worked and what I push to clientele a lot, especially this year with online video becoming a, such a prominent way of showcasing a product or services, it's really important for your business to be leveraging the right videos and the right tools and the right mindset of what you can do to help increase your brand's awareness and ultimately sales as well. I remember reading a statistics, I believe um, it is predicted, but at least 70% of online traffic will be driven through online video. So it is very important to really think about your video marketing strategy and also what would work for you. So here are three of my suggestions. There's a lot more videos that you could create, but these are three really that really would work well. So number one, story behind the brand's product or service. So your product might have multiple, multiple products. And you don't wanna overwhelm people with like, oh, here I have this. Like if you're a makeup line, you don't wanna showcase everything. Get the best product that maybe does the, the best in sales or has the best in telling a story and use that, it could be one or two products. I'd like to show you an example of what I mean. So the formula for creating these types of videos, it has to be entertaining, it has to be relatable. It has to be something that gets people to feel something such that it gets them to share to other friends. It gets people talking about it. That's what you want. The second your video looks like a commercial, you lost the customer. They know. You need to make videos relatable, non-commercial-like, such that it becomes a talk of the town. Now, here's a great example, and there's plenty of others as well that has done this. Hi, I'm Mike, founder of dollarshaveclub.com. What is dollarshaveclub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high quality razors right to your door. Yeah, a dollar. Are the blades any good? No. Our blades are great. Dollar Shave Club. Their videos are just ridiculously great. I believe they were sold last year for one billion dollars. I mean, check out how this clip is, it's hilarious. It's so relatable for people and it's just funny. It gets people to share. Why? It doesn't really feel like a commercial. It gets a little vulgar. People might not like it, but guess what? It's for the everyday man. Uh, men like to feel manly, feel great, and it's funny. Sure, I like the rough stuff. Thanks. And maybe a little pain. I think, uh, which now, I mean, they were a startup and they're just becoming really competitive, especially for the price. It's, 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 Consumers are finding it worth it and then they sold. Another great commercial that came out in 2016. It was produced by Vayner Media. It's a Budweiser commercial. It was produced right after the Cubs won the World Series. This commercial does not even seem like a Budweiser commercial. You know why? It doesn't really, you don't see the brand as much. You see people holding Bud here and there. Budweiser and the agencies behind this commercial wanted to tell a story. You know, the Cubs haven't won a World Series, I believe, ever, and that's what it means. Here, um, they bring, I believe, Harry was the owner who says uh, something about not winning the World Series. And guess what? The day they won, you know, they pushed this out. And I believe it got, I don't remember how many views, but a lot. So think about this. When you push out content, right, and people share it, that's becoming an organic reach. So if you could put a paid boost, let's say you put a $10 boost on Facebook, right? If people start sharing that, you start getting a lot more organic reach. That $10 is now worth, really, it could be like that, it could be worth $500, but you didn't spend that $500. It got, because it got shared so many times, it reached way more people than it would rather than just doing a paid campaign. Does that make sense? Because when you do a paid campaign, it could reach X amount of people based on their budget, but if it's shared, that's all organic reach at that point. So you're paying for that one person to see it, but if they like that campaign, if you're hitting people that love the Cubs for that Budweiser, right? If they share it, that's organic reach. They'll share it to their mom, their 200, 500,000, 3,000 friends. It's 3,000 people get to see it. They interact, they might share, they might share. So again, at the end of the day, you wanna make it shareable, relatable, fun, funny, 
creative. Don't make it seem like a commercial. Number two, this is so important, how-to videos, tutorials. For instance, if you're a hair brand, right? You sell hair care products, blowout sprays. Let's say if you want to sell a product, let's say you want to sell your spray, right? Get recreate a video that has done really well in the past, meaning you'll see the engagement, comments, likes, shares, etc. Right? Recreate it, have an influencer recreate it, or have a model recreate it, or somebody that is um, an expert in that niche, show the steps. For instance, how to do this, how uh, an updo braid hairstyle, or how to, I don't know, any hairstyle, right? The sixth step could be using your product. Except step number six, spray on XYZ product. Now, at the end of the day, they don't have to buy that product if there's other similar products. But why wouldn't they, if they really enjoyed it, if they really enjoyed the video, maybe they wanna try it, they're more likely gonna use your product because you provided them the, the, the steps of the specific style that they liked and they shared. And because it was shared so many times before, why wouldn't it be shared again a lot because it was such great content? You know it's a popular hairstyle, and at the end of the day, there's other strategies to make it more effective. Maybe sometimes you wanna make it relatable or something that is current. Let's say if it's a summer hairstyle, and it's summer, it's about to be the summer, you may wanna push that content right around then. You don't wanna push that in the winter, you wanna make it relatable. So how-to content, very effective tutorials, being that consultant, being that, providing that value of information to you know, create these hairstyles or haircuts or whatever it is, and then leveraging your product if they want to use it. But um, that's part of those steps. It's part of the thing that they could do at home. And if they wanna order, you put the link, boom. Number three, the why. The why type of video. Why you? Why your brand? Why your product? So with this type of video, what you can do is, first of all, the why videos could be a little bit more difficult because you do not want to, again, seem like a commercial. So what you need to do is provide a reason why your product is such a great product by recreating one, is there an idea, a problem. Let's say if you're selling teeth whitening strips or teeth whitening paste or teeth whitening something, right? You see these all over on Instagram. Create the why would they need it? Well, there's several reasons why you need uh, want white teeth, but what, one thing I know, you could create a video based on someone drinking a little bit of wine. You gotta be very creative with it. The wine causes stained teeth. Due to that, if someone's a wine drinker, right? You wanna prevent that, you wanna reduce that, what they can do? They can get this product, but you gotta make it relatable. Give them a why should they buy it. But don't sound salesy. Meaning, give this story, make it funny. This is where you can make a lot of things funny. Like a girl drinking all of a sudden, she has all this freaking you know, red stained teeth because of red wine. You can exaggerate, you can make it even animated. So the why is, could be funny, could give the, uh, recreate a problem, and then your product is the solution. When you're creating that why, you wanna get in the consumer's mind. What are they thinking? What are their, their everyday problems and how's your product gonna solve that problem? So I hope these are three types of videos that helped you. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have a suggestion or a video that has worked for you that is not listed here, and there's plenty of others, please leave in the comments below. Maybe we'll create another video that gets in more in depth with what you suggest. And if this helped you, like it. Uh, if it didn't, you can leave. Um, no, but if you didn't like it, if you didn't like something, please, uh, again, put that in the comments below, tell me why, and subscribe for more weekly videos like this, digital marketing tips, my vlog where I bring you behind the scenes, some of my strategic meetings, my creative work, and much, much more, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there.